20 years of coaching. And it's changed me now, so I went back, I left coaching, I'm now in counseling. And I do counseling at a high school or I do sports therapy on the outside. I want to introduce you to someone that changed my life, and he'll change yours, Will Horton. Thank you. Hey, could you do me one favor? Let me get some evaluation slips from that table. Thanks. How are we all doing today? Good. Um, we're going to do a few things today and have some fun. Um, and teach you um, a technique. Um, it's called uh, the zone exercise. It's a lot of fun and it's real good for athletes. And I have a lady in the room that's going to share a success story with using some of this kind of technology for, uh, for a specific purpose. Um, before we get started, uh, I'd like to um, share with you uh, a little thing, a uh, little story. I like stories. Those of you that know me know that I tell a lot of stories. And this, this story is about someone, uh, he was a rancher, had a ranch, and you know, he raised animals. I mean, that's what ranchers do, you know. And he had chickens on, on, on his ranch and all the other animals. But the chickens were, you know, off in their coop. Well, there got to be this wolf that got to, got to, be, uh, got to be there. And um, pass some of those out. Uh, and this wolf was coming in and grabbing a chicken. You know, every couple of days, he'd come in, get a chicken. So naturally, the rancher, being, being a good rancher, he put up, you know, he reinforced the barriers. He did what he needed to do to, to you know, to help his chickens. Well, the wolf's a very smart creature. But, and everything the, the guy threw up, wolves, the wolf got around. In fact, the wolf was beginning to act like this guy's ranch was Kentucky Fried Chicken. You know, and he'd just go through the drive through grab one, and be on his way. Well... One day, the, wolf, the, the rancher figures out a way to get the wolf. And, he, and he's been thinking about it, and he sets this really elaborate trap. And it wouldn't kill the wolf, it would just trap it. And then he was going to take a shotgun out and shoot the wolf for, for the damage that it had done. Well, the day came, the wolf came, and it, it got in the trap. And it was so elaborate, the wolf couldn't get out. So the wolf was in there. So the, 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 the rancher heard it, so he grabs his shotgun, goes out to, to eliminate the, the problem, as he thought it. So he walks out and the wolf's in the little pen there and he takes a shotgun and he aims at it. And the wolf looks at him. Anybody knows anything about wolves, they're interesting creatures. And usually when a wolf, because it's a pack mentality much like people, when it, when it feels dominated, it will bow down. It will literally, it won't make eye contact, it'll look down or it'll, it'll go down a little bit. And so, you know, the farmer's looking at it with the shotgun, the wolf looks at him and, and the wolf has a decision at this point. You know, is he going to be subservient? You know, and he kind of intuitively knows he's going to die. Or is he going to just hold his head up and die like a wolf? Whatever that might mean. So he makes the decision, what the heck, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die with some pride. So he won't look down, you know, kind of just does that, you know, little thing dogs do. It kind of cocks his head, looks at the guy, brings his head back up, looks directly in his eyes. Farmers, uh, the, the rancher's looking at him and he makes eye contact. Anybody that's ever seen a wolf really knows they're very beautiful creatures. Especially their eyes. They have bright gold eyes or really like whitish blue eyes. And this one had those gold eyes and they looked at each other. They made eye contact. And it suddenly dawned on the rancher, why is he going to kill this animal for doing what a wolf naturally does? This is what it does. It, it kills other animals to survive. You know, and in fact, it was a smart wolf. Why go out and hunt a rabbit or try to chase down a deer when you can just like drive, go through drive through pick up a quick chicken and be on your way home? You know, so he's making eye contact. So he says to himself, probably with inner dialogue that a lot of us have, you know, probably up to the left, in fact, he says, you know, why am I going to kill this animal for doing what it does?